Hello and welcome back to One Mint's channel. You have an NFT collection that you need to upload to IPFS. Perfect, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna make a few assumptions. The first one is that you already have a collection generated. It should look something like this. You should have two folders, one that has all the images for your collection and the second folder with all the metadata files. That's the first assumption. The second one is we're going to use NFT up and that's an application that you can download for free on the NFT storage website right there. I'm going to be using a Mac, but the steps are identical on Windows. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is upload all the images for our collection to IPFS. So I'm going to bring NFT up here and I'm going to bring up my files. I'm going to go to the images folder and I'm going to select all of them and I'm just going to drag and drop all the files in there. My files are really small, so it should not be very long. However, it might take a while for your collection, depending on the size. Okay, it's done. So what I need to do uh, is I'm going to keep this on the side and I'm going to go to the NFT generator website. I'm just going to scroll down to uh, metadata viewer. I'm going to click on this and I'll be on this page. Now I'm going to click choose file. I'm going to go where my folder is. I'm going to open it. I'm going to go to metadata and that's really important. You need to select the file that's named metadata.json not those files. It's really important. Like this. So when you do that, it's going to import all the layers and uh, stats from your collection. It's going to import the name, the description, a website if you have one, and other things. So I'm going to not change those things. I'm going to change the name of my collection. So I have this uh, preset. So I'm just going to rename it to demo. So that means it's going to look like demo slash one or two or three. Okay, so that's what this squiggly thing means. And the second thing that's really important is I'm going to set the IPFS CID for the images we just uploaded. So I'm going to type IPFS this. And now I'm going to go back to NFT up and I'm going to copy this. So I'm going to click copy here and I'm going to paste it there and it should look like this. Once I'm done, I'm going to click generate. That's going to download a zip file, which has all the new metadata files uh, updated. So I'm going to open one and show you what it should look like. If you look at the image attribute here, you can see that it starts with IPFS and it has our CID, which is what it should look like. So we're good to go. So the next step is we're going to go back to NFT up. I'm just going to close this and we're going to upload the second time. Very important. You need to upload the new metadata file that we just generated. So again, I'm going to select um, all of them and I'm going to drag and drop all the files in there. And that's it we have the new CID for our collection. Essentially, you, you are done at this point. Uh, this is the CID that you need to share with your developer or that you can use in OneMint. So I'll show you how to do that right now. But if you don't use OneMint, you can drop here. Uh, I'm going to click this link just to make sure the files are loading correctly. Yeah, so see it's working. We have all the files that are loaded. If I click on one, I have all the attributes and the correct uh, path to my images. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this open for now and I'm gonna go to one mint and I have this test collection that I'm going to, I'm gonna start a new one. Here I'm going to pick Ethereum and testnet just for the demo. 
uh, very important. I need to select I use my own collection and I click create. Okay, so now I need to provide the basic information for my collection. Uh, mine is only 111, I think. It's just a demo, so it doesn't really matter. Essentially, those are the same information that you already have in your metadata. So I'm just going to reset that. Click continue. And here, I'm going to provide the CIDs that we just uploaded. So this is the CID for the metadata file. So I'm just going to copy that. Go back here and paste it. And see, it's working. We're seeing the image, so we know it's working. And I'm, I'm going to provide the CID for the images as well, which is right there. It's this one. I'm going to go back there and click Continue. After that, you're basically done, and you can deploy your smart contract, and you can be sure that your images are going to load correctly, the metadata is going to look correctly on all the marketplaces like OpenSea and others. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, you can contact us on our chat support. Bye.